Hi, and welcome again to Honey Let's Talk. My name is Shadi, and this is where we say when we talk, we make it better. So yes, last week we talked about how to navigate your first year of marriage as a newlywed. And we said that you need to be able to handle conflict in the right way. Today, I want to share with you something else that is different that you will encounter and that is dealing with extended family. That is a big place. It's a big thing. I'll just give you my story. I got married. I was raised by a single parent. There are a lot of things that I didn't know about a family setup. Then I got married to my wife and my wife is comes from a very close-knit family where she knew everything about what, what a family should look like. And when we got married, we started having issues in the first year of marriage because I was living as if I was in a single parent home, a single parent family, whereby I think about the things that I want to think about and not involve her. And it bothers her a lot. Because where she was coming from, people discuss things. You discuss issues, you discuss frustrations, you discuss family members, you, you visit family members, you engage in family events. Um, and I remember when we got married, we started going to events. We went to so many events because for her, it's like if my family member is having an event, we have to be there. But one of the things that I really started uh, enjoying was the fact that she wouldn't go to an event alone. She would try to convince me that if she doesn't go with me, she will not go. And that was strange for me, especially because I was coming from a place where everybody does whatever they want. Um, and I started learning that as a family, we need to be united. We go together. We unite together. Because there is a perception that when you are doing things alone, it seems like you're not together. It seems like you're not okay in your marriage and that's something that I learned in my first year of marriage but now coming uh, a year two years three years now five years down the line it's something that I continue to learn every single time but what do you do when you are paired up with a partner that has issues in their families there are things that are happening in their their, their their original family that now they want to bring it into the new family for example if you're supporting your family how is that what conversation are you having with your wife with your husband uh, are you guys doing money together so that if you're supporting someone you are talking about it if not that's a place where you need to start thinking about here are three things that we do as a family number one you have to set boundaries there's something that we learn when we uh, in our fourth year of marriage that take us never stop it is only the giver that puts on boundaries so if you have someone in your family that usually wants money usually wants uh, uh, attention then you need to ask yourself are we gonna set boundary and what are we gonna do to set boundaries so that they know that this is the limit this is how much we can do so that's the first thing you have to set boundaries the second thing that you have to do is you have to pre-decide in advance how much you need to give how much time you need to give which events you need to go to there's some families that expect every christmas you have to be where they are there's some families every easter every holiday you have to travel and i'm married to a kalenjin whereby most kalenjins go at home every holiday and when we got married we started asking ourselves so how are we going to deal with these holidays because me i come from a family whereby holiday is not a big thing so you have to pre-decide what you will do before it happens the third thing that you have to do is to budget is to budget and that is absolutely important as a newly couple you need to be to understand that the priority for your life is to focus on your family it's okay when you don't have enough to support it's okay when sometimes you say hey we're not gonna send anything this month if the money that you send does not go to basic essential things like food or, or rent but if you're just supporting them for the sake of supporting them and just connecting with them then it's a good place to say this is how much we can send this is the budget that we have these are a few things that we learn when we were growing up and especially when you talk about money and this is something that i usually tell my friends if my family wants money i don't send them my wife send them money why because when my wife sends that communicates that we talk about the money we talk about the issue so they cannot manipulate me they cannot manipulate her because we talk and vice versa if it's her family then i am the one who does it so that it brings that unity that we are together so i don't know how you deal with conflict especially 
when it comes to family uh, backgrounds. And maybe you're coming from a different family, different background, you don't have to be like us, but this is what we do and we hope you can be able to come together as a couple and figure out your way as you think about your first year of marriage. Otherwise, next week, let's join together as we talk about another section in this series. See ya.